Hello, dear friend. How do you do? Uh, again, we are with you for another another day for continuing our session about antenatal course. We are talking for all of childbirth educator, midwives, doulas, and physiotherapists who wants to help mothers and provide them antenatal classes. So. Uh, we talked about some important tips that we have to consider for every antenatal classes. Uh, I received some feedback from your friends, some suggestions and some idea that how you want to develop and improve your midwifery course and how you want to develop your skills in running your antenatal classes according your to your community and your location culture every day if we have 10 minutes class from today before we had 15 minutes class but from today I'm trying to make your daily training to 10 minutes that you can Think about that point that I share with you through our evidence-based references and my 20 years experience. Then I want to hear from you how you manage your birth center, your midwifery clinic, or your antenatal classes in your place. Because we have to set up our classes according our to our parents' uh, needs and um, their require, uh, need, uh, require information. We talked about some inform information that we have to share with our couples. Today, I want to talk about one of the important topics that you have to consider in your antenatal classes. One of the important things that we have to talk to mother about, she knows about her health and well-being. We talked about birth, the process of the birth, about some psychological and emotional change. We try to make some ice-breaking techniques in our classes that to make parents to participate in this class and don't feel boring they continue with us and now we have to tell to mother that she thinks about my health about my well-being what does it mean what does it mean our health and well-being yes the birth of the first child Maybe do some sudden bitterness in couples' relationship functioning. And you know, at the birth time, baby is completely dependent to the mother to stay alive physically and to develop emotionally and cognitively. vital that the mother could feel supported yes for most mothers the person that can give this support is her partner this is the father but as you know mother has difficult times with tiredness very difficult and overwhelming sense and she so much, has so much worry, worries about her new responsibility and other things can happen like um, diminished income, lack of couple time without the baby. So all these factors will affect in the mother. In some countries and in some religions that I work and I have experience with them, we have another problem. For example, some mothers in some Asian culture, they face with too much
much visitors coming to their house to uh, congratulate the new baby. And this mother doesn't have time to take rest and enjoy. This mother is so much tired. She wants to spend some time with her husband. She needs some mental health services. She needs some massage. She wants to get a good exercise, good rest, and some um, a small uh, um, private talk with her father, mother, and husband. But the huge visitors that coming in these houses doesn't let the mother take rest and doesn't let the mother and father have a special time together and spend time together. Plus, this newborn has brought another problem for this couple. The mother needs too much emotional support. And we have some other problems, some other cultural issue in some Asian countries that the mother doesn't mm, let herself to ask these needs from husband or family. Now I am in India and I'm facing with many postnatal problems with mothers. Like what I experience in other countries like Arab countries. Unfortunately, after the birth, they keep mothers separately from the husband and they believe that mother should sp spend her time for 40 days till she get more health and fresh, then husband will come to her. What do you think? Do you think it works for a mother? I'm feeling very upset in some Asian culture when I see such these things. And unfortunately, I see that even they don't let the husband and new mother, they can sleep together in the night in one room. So I hope uh, we can find some solution for some special culture and beliefs that we can modify this supportive care of the husband to their culture and to their belief to get more emotional and psychological support for the mothers. So, I'd like to hear from you. You know many other issues that are happening in your area and region. Please share with me. We are trying to find solution. For this uh, matter, what I found in India it was that antenatal classes has a very big role in giving confidence to the husband that can take care of the wife even against of this much cultural barrier. We were trying to give more confidence and confidence to these dads that they could go and have discussion with the family that can get, provide this support for his wife. I will try one day to invite them to come and talk, how they could talk through and discuss to, um, with their family, that they could convince their family to give this a small right for the mothers to get every support from husband at the first day of early postpartum. Thank you for watching me. I will try to come for other session tomorrow and talk about that. I hope if you like these everyday sessions to share with your friends. Let others come and share their experience and knowledge with us. If we know from each part of the world and we know how to manage our midwifery techniques through different idea we will be more powerful and more interesting midwife uh, we have one small celebration with independent midwife in 4th may i hope you join you join us and you can go through our post 
and our advertising just you click on that and you can register for fourth of may with lily mom independent midwife celebration uh, please follow us in our YouTube channel. It is Lily Mom Center LMC. All of the classes has recorded and published in our YouTube channel. Please, if you are interested, advise us to others. Subscribe us in our YouTube channel and do like. Thank you. I'm waiting to hear from you.